So Ballinasloe Town is well serviced with facilities. If we just look at our schools and educational facilities for the moment, uh, we are well served with a all boys secondary school in Garbley in St Joseph's College Garbley Park, which has an enrolment of over 600 students and a complement of some 45 teachers, offering a wide array, array of curriculum choices in a parkland setting. Um, adjacent to Garbley Park is Squilwura, which is the all uh, girls secondary school and has an enrolment in excess of 500 pupils and a teaching staff of uh, 340, again offering a very wide and varied uh, curriculum. In the town centre, Korea National School would have an enrolment of about 400 students and a staff complement of 30. It's one of the top 30 largest schools in the West. And in the town centre proper, Skrull Korea Nifa, which operates uh, north and south of uh, Sarsfield Road, and has been approved for a new campus worth uh, 3.5 million, has an enrolment of about 400 students and again a staff complement of about 28. Ballinasloe is also very fortunate to have a number of new leisure and recreational activity zones, particularly with playgrounds. We have playgrounds uh, dotted throughout the town in Port Nick, uh, in Meadowbrook, uh, to the rear of the leisure centre on the Sarsfield Road, at the Corra Park and indeed in the upper and lower Brackley areas. Uh, we're also very fortunate as a community that the community got its hands on a lease of the Town Hall Theatre. The Town Hall Theatre was a building built in 1857 and was a part of the Clancarty estate. It was turned into an Edwardian theatre in, in 1905 and has remained a 400-seater uh, theatre since then. Uh, the community group uh, associated with the Town Hall Theatre Society have been now running it successfully and have invested over 400,000 of a complete redevelopment uh, roof and inner functioning works on the building. As part of the Action Team programme, a sports hub project was put together which was to amass all the critical information about the facilities and the clubs uh, of the various sporting organisations that we are fortunate to have as a community. Uh, in excess of some 15 million has been invested by the government in the last 20 years, um, allied with some uh, obviously, obviously fundraising by the local communities to upgrade uh, a great deal of these facilities. So for instance, the soccer club, they have a new 1.8 million clubhouse with astroturf pitches, training pitches and additional facilities, a flood and floodlit pitch. Uh, the rugby club have their floodlights installed. They've had new changing rooms and they can cater for uh, both men's and women's and underage rugby at the same time. The GEA club, uh, which is an amalgamation of the old football club and old hurling club, pooled resources and purchased some facilities uh, behind the super value shopping complex off the old urban district council and they have pumped about 3.6 3.8 million of their money and uh, the sports capital fund into developing a fantastic clubhouse and uh, three new pitches including a ball wall which can be used by of course hurling camogie and football players we're lucky also to have the other uh, sports cater for in that we have a tennis club which has got the green light approval for an additional a new uh, indoor and outdoor facilities beside the track building. Uh, we have a kayak club in town, we have the Korea Equestrian Centre, uh, we have a Karate and Taekwondo clubs and we're also I suppose very fortunate that we have a 18 hole parkland golf course, one of the oldest golf clubs in the history of the country and certainly the oldest in Connacht uh, available in Craig and Winnie, which is a year round uh, parkland course. The district and running track uh, was a 1.9 million IAF standard and structure and has been used by the local athletics club and indeed quite a number of running clubs from Lockray and South Roscommon which is wonderful to see. 